I'm not knocking the hustle. If you're rich, I want you guys to live in a rich apartment. You know, you can pay $14,000 a month if you want. And that's great. You know, that's always a dream. But it's also not realistic for these people that want to live in the city, who want to move out into the city or coming from Oklahoma or another country and are watching these videos and they're so discouraged. They don't think they can make it because these apartment tours are only highlighting the rich ass apartment and it's so discouraging so that's why i want to make this video because i really want to show you guys the real tea where to find the best apartment so a video of mine went viral it was a renovation new york city vlog and a lot of you guys watched it i've never gotten that before and i got a lot of questions about my rent and where i live and all of that information and i realized i never really gave an in-depth video so here is the actual tea I've been watching a lot of apartment tours in New York and the first thing I notice is that these people are touring 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 plus rent apartments and that is not freaking realistic for most people. New York is a very, very expensive state and city and it's also not affordable so people coming from other states or even people living in New York who want to move out or like live by themselves or with a roommate whatever it's not really likely to just have a three thousand dollar apartment and i get that you know you guys want to see a variety of different apartments and just have the knowledge in your head but in reality people are not going for those three thousand dollar apartments so i'm gonna give you the realist truth you deserve it i'm gonna give you guys the whole process all the documents that to hand in my requirements and some of the apartments that I toured. Please let me know what you guys want to watch. I have almost hit 1,500 subscribers, which is weird because my goal for 2022, which was the end of December 2022, was to hit 1,500 and I'm already there almost. And it's not even the end of January yet. So that's crazy. So let me know what you guys want to watch. I want to put out whatever you want to watch. Please like and subscribe. It really helps me a lot. Now we can get in with the video. When people move to New York, they are obsessed with living in the city, which I get, the city's beautiful. But also, I don't know why people don't look outside of the city and in, in the boroughs, because I live in Queens currently, and it's literally a 10 minute drive or a 10 minute subway ride into the city, and it's not far away at all, and it's so much freaking cheaper. My apartment right now, again, watch my other video to see a more in-tour depth of my in-tour, in-depth tour of my room, but I have a studio, I pay $16.50, I have a whole bunch of amenities included. I have laundry in the unit, I have an elevator, I have natural sunlight, I have a lot of room for storage and just so many closets, a pretty big kitchen. And that's very rare for apartments in the city unless you wanna pay like friggin' $3,000. So all of the apartments that I'm gonna show you, I toured over 10 probably and it took me a few months to find the right one for me. They're all below $17.50. I didn't even look at any apartments beyond my price range for the most part, just because first of all, I knew I was gonna get my heart broken. Second of all, there was no point because I wasn't gonna get it, you know? I'm living by myself, I'm not gonna pay extra rent just for a nice view, you know? All of them are in Queens. So I was gonna look at New York City as well, but a big requirement of mine is that, is that I want culture. And New York City is great. There is culture in certain parts, but for the most part, it's a lot of tourism and I love my brown people. I love my Spanish people. I did that in my area. So that's why I chose Queens. I just needed a place that had everything that I wanted, you know? I was not gonna settle. The whole process took a couple of months. I toured 10 plus apartments. I only recorded six. I was on Street Easy. I was on apartments.com. I was on so many different websites to find apartments. I was looking at new listings. I was looking at old listings. But the problem with New York City apartments is that they take they get taken so freaking quick. Before you can even ask for their availabilities to tour the apartment or even put in your application before even touring the apartment, they're taken so quick or they don't respond to your email. So it's so hard to find apartments and that's why I get why so many people were commenting on my last video to get the inside scoop. It's so freaking hard. Like really, you have to email them, you have to call them, you have to text them, you have to be so freaking annoying with it, and even then it's still so hard, you know? 
So at the end of the day, I got my apartment because I was touring another apartment. I hated it. It had so much subway noise. It had it was very like dingy. And also, you know, it's a red flag when there's freaking raid cockroach, you know, cockroach spray on the counter. Like, why is that there for an apartment tour? And then he was like, oh, maybe you'll like this one. I have one two blocks down. And I toured that and I loved it. And since I toured that right away, it wasn't even on the market yet. So I was able to put my name down right away. And even that, it took me over a month to get my response. And I had to give in so many freaking documents to verify my income, my identity, everything. And it was just a really long process. The rent in Queens is so much cheaper usually. There are so many more amenities and it's literally 10 minutes away from the city. So choose your battle. Something else that you really have to do when you look for apartments is not only get on those websites, but you have to get in contact with all those realtors and all those people and make sure they let you know when they have an opening just so you get the first inside scoop you know, before anyone else or before it's even released to the public. And that's how you can get one because it's so hard to be on those websites because it's so freaking competitive. Everyone's looking and refreshing constantly. So you really have to get on that. I started apartment hunting in June and then I paused because it was just so discouraging looking at apartments that were really, really bad and so expensive for no reason. And then I restarted again in September and then I put in my application for the first time. I didn't get a response until October and then I moved in. I was really lucky because my first month of rent was free. My requirements for my apartment, so freaking important, that's why I didn't settle. I wanted a studio or a one bedroom. I needed something close to the train station. There were so many apartments that I toured and honestly, if you live in the boroughs or if you live in the city, you are not gonna have a car for the most part. So I needed some place that was close to a train station where I wouldn't be freezing my ass off walking to the train station. And it was not more than five minutes because especially when I go to school in the morning, I leave my house at seven o'clock in the morning. I'm not walking far, you know, that's dangerous, first of all. Third, I needed an elevator. Fourth, I needed a laundry in the unit. And I knew this was very rare for a New York City apartment, but I wanted one just because I knew I would be very discouraged to keep doing my laundry outside. And since I have such a busy schedule, I wasn't going to make the time to just go to a laundromat outside and keep coming back and forth three times at least each wash, you know. Five, I needed good lighting. The next thing, I needed storage space. I am a small business owner, so I needed a lot of space for my boxes and my clothing and my art and apparel. You just need space. <laughs> I don't like those apartments that have one cabinet and one tiny like cupboard for your clothes. Like what the hell is that? The last thing, I absolutely needed culture in the area that I was, I was in. I thrive when I see people like me. I feel more at home. So I know that if I wanted to be rooted in myself and my beliefs and everything, I just needed to feel surrounded by you know, people that were like me. I need to feel at home. So those were my requirements. I thought I was shooting for the stars with all these requirements because from what I've seen from all of these YouTube videos, false propaganda. <laughs> false propaganda. These videos are not showing you the truth. They're showing you expensive ass apartments for like none of these requirements. So I'm gonna tell you the truth. So my current apartment right now is a studio has probably over 500 square feet. I'm not sure exactly how much. It includes all amenities. So that means heat, water, gas, everything. The only thing I pay for is Wi-Fi and electricity. Train station is literally less than two minutes away. There's a lot of culture here. All of the places are walking distance. And I think it's perfect for me. I think I really got very lucky with it. When I first put my application in and told him I was interested, there was a lot that came afterwards that I was not ready for, but I really went quick to put it in just, just before anyone else. So first was the application, which was all of your information. Second, there was an income requirement, which was 30 to 35 times your rent. So this is very low compared to the city. From what I've seen in the city, you need your income to be 70 times the rent which is very hard to get. It's really, really hard to get, unless you're really, really rich. Another requirement is they needed a 650 plus credit score and they needed first month's rent and they needed first month's security. So right then and there, that's 1650 plus 1650. So the security and the first month rent. And then the paperwork on top of that was freaking crazy. It was endless. It took over a month, like what I said. They needed photo ID, they needed the last two pay stubs. They needed my last two checking account statements 
and they needed my most recent tax return 1040 form. So since I am a entrepreneur, I didn't have pay stubs, so I had to give them a PDF statement of my e-commerce website, my Shopify. In addition, since this apartment was very competitive, you know, I was not up against just one person, it was probably a whole list of people, I had to give additional statements to really show that I'm able to pay for it. So I had to send investment accounts and I had to send my saving account balances. And that's really hard to do considering I'm 23 and I don't have that much money. So it was really hard to figure that out and I didn't think I was gonna get the apartment but I ended up getting it. So that's why it's so freaking hard to get apartments here because so many people's credit scores are low because they have loans that they haven't paid for yet and it's, it's just so hard. Now I'm gonna show you guys some of the apartments I toured. I'm gonna show you guys five actually and then including the one that I, I got. Let me tell you guys right now, some of the apartments I saw were not good at all. They were not worth the money that they were asking for, even with the incentives that they had. I was in a state where I was really desperate to get an apartment. I really wanted to move out, but I'm so glad I held on and just didn't settle because I would have suffered so much in, an, in a place that didn't have all my requirements. And I'm so glad that I didn't. Number one tip, Go with a friend, go with a family member when you go tour these apartments because they are gonna tell you right from wrong and it's gonna prevent you from actually putting your name down for a place that you don't actually like. So the first place was in Long Island City and it was a studio. I really liked it because it was pretty modern, the floors were nice, but the, the windows kind of led to nothing. It was just a parking lot and I knew that was kind of depressing for me. The rent was really high, I believe it was 1700 and honestly, it's not that high for New York City, but for me it was, for especially for what they were offering. They did have a laundry in the unit and they had a beautiful rooftop, but that wasn't enough for me, especially because the commute to the city was 45 minutes and I don't think that's a good amount at all, especially if you live in Queens, it should not be 45 minutes. On top of that, you had to take the subway, the bus, and a freaking boat across the river to go to the city and I was not gonna do that because the main reason I was moving out was for school and there was no way I was taking a boat to the city every single day at 7 o'clock in the morning so there was no point in me getting that I was so glad my brother talked me out of it because it was my first apartment that I toured so I got really excited I even planned my future on that rooftop but realistically who the hell is gonna use a rooftop every single day you know it's just it's not realistic so I didn't get it. The second apartment was in Astoria. I didn't really like it at all. I felt like it was very cramped up looking, very congested. The bathroom was very narrow. I felt like you have to be a very skinny queen to pass through. Um, I don't know, the whole apartment seemed very traditional, which is fine, I like the traditional look, but I felt like I couldn't really feel free in this apartment and it was also a walk-up and the door wasn't really opening properly so that was a red flag right there and my um, realtor that was helping me out tried giving me an incentive by saying that I can smoke on the fire escape but why would I get an apartment just for that? <laughs> I don't smoke. <laughs> this was $16.50. So this apartment was also in Astoria. I did not like this apartment at all either. It was also a walk-up. It was by the same person. It was just next door. And I didn't like how the building faced another building. That just shows you how there's no natural lighting. It also felt very congested. On top of that, I didn't really feel like I needed that much extra room. It was a one bedroom, I had a living room. For me living by myself, I don't need that much room. So I felt like it was kind of useless. As an artist, it felt very constricting. I don't know, I, I feel like I always need to see outside, see culture, see people and, you know, reflect on my ideas and I felt like I couldn't really do that. So this apartment was in Astoria. I fell in love with this apartment. I literally had dreams of this apartment. I had so many visions. I journaled about this apartment of me walking down the street, of me going to the subway station, of me living my life here. I literally built a whole life in my head with this apartment just from viewing it the first day. The brick wall was beautiful. I loved the modern sleek look to it but there was also a traditional look to it which i loved there was also a lot of storage space that i really appreciated 
and it was in a very beautiful area it was right by the Astoria Park it was right by the bridge so if I went to go to the park it was really close by and it was just a really nice cultural area it was on the first floor which wasn't bad because I wouldn't need an elevator in the first place it was a very safe area there was a school right in front and I just really loved the openness of it I loved it but first of all it was 1750 so it was out of my budget and also it was already taken so I remember I asked this realtor to let me know if she had any other openings she didn't really end up having having any other openings for cheaper than that but yeah i really liked this apartment it had a laundry in the unit it had it was beautiful but i ended up just dreaming about it and never getting it so it's fine so i went to go view another apartment in jackson heights this was months later in september when i felt a little bit more encouraged to go view apartments after those pretty terrible ones for me and this one was really nice i liked it a lot actually i was gonna put my name down for it it had a lot of open space. It had a very private area for a bedroom. It was kind of secluded, but it was still a studio. It had a laundry in the unit, and it was pretty nice. The only downfall of this apartment, my best friend told me not to get it because of this, is there was no counter space in the kitchen, and she said that that would be very discouraging for me when I wanted to cook or whatever it was. And I remember going back in the car and I was like searching up how to cook without a counter or counter alternatives. <laughs> but the, 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 I don't know. I feel like if you have to do all of that, it's not really worth it. So I ended up not putting my name down. This was $16.50 as well. I actually ended up not even recording the next apartment. That's when you know it was that bad. That's the one I told you about with the cockroach raid spray. But that is the, the man that told me about the next apartment, the ones that I ended up getting. So the next building we viewed, I viewed two apartments in the same building, so the apartment above my room right now. And that one was very nice as well, it was a studio, it was $16.50, so the same price as mine. So a lot of the ones I toured were $16.50 or below. It had a very semi view of the city, which was nice, but then again it was very small. It had a very secluded kitchen, which was really nice. And it had a lot of closet space. Well, not not a lot actually. Never mind. And I liked it, but I didn't fall in love with it. But once he showed me my apartment now, I fell in love with it. Like when I first walked in, I was not understanding why it was only sixteen fifty because from what I've seen, the the places just look so much more congested and they didn't offer the same things I was getting in this apartment so I, was under, I wasn't understanding why it was only $16.50 so when I first toured my apartment right now I loved the, the L shape, I loved the open space, I loved the big kitchen the many closets and it's something that you can't really find in New York which I got very lucky for, I'm very grateful a lot of people just come here, they look at apartments two or three and they kind of just have to settle with one but my biggest tip is don't settle, obviously, unless you need to out of necessity and you need a place to leave and move out to, you know? But there's definitely a place that fulfills most or all of your requirements. You just have to be patient and really look for it because it's out there. My recommendation, if you're moving to New York, is to look in the boroughs first. Queens is amazing, Astoria, Steinway, Long Island City. There's so many good areas. There's places in Brooklyn or the Bronx, and even those places are kind of getting gentrified. But I'm telling you, there's so many pockets of good places in New York, and you don't have to spend $2,000. It's not freaking realistic. It's definitely not easy to live here. I'm literally like struggling every single freaking day, but it's not impossible if you look at the right places. You have to email and annoy all of these realtors and brokers and people. I'm telling you guys right now that you do not have to suffer if you live in New York. Just because you find an apartment that's small and cheap, that does not mean that that's the best apartment for you and that's the only option out there for you. You just gotta really look and honestly it's also based on luck and connections. Don't believe all of these freaking influencers. Honestly like I'm not knocking the hustle. If you're rich, I want you guys to live in an rich apartment. You know, you can pay $14,000 a month if you want. And that's great. You know, that's always a dream. But it's also not realistic for these people that want to live in the city, who want to move out into the city or coming from Oklahoma or another country and are watching these videos and they're so discouraged. They don't think they can make it because these apartment tours are only highlighting the rich ass apartments. And it's so discouraging. So that's why I wanted to make this video because 
I really want to show you guys the real tea where to find the best apartments. You can find so many good apartments where you don't have to settle, it fulfills all of your requirements, you're not living in a cramped up space and you think that you can't afford it, and just, you can still have a good life here, you know? That's what I wanna show you. I always wanna be real on my channel. All right, so I think that's the end of my video. I've been talking a lot, my mouth is kind of dry. I also just came back from a food poisoning sickness for the past few days, so that's why I'm a little bit out of it. But I hope you guys liked this video, I hope it was informational. I really hope that it helps you with your apartment hunting, and I wish you so much good luck. Please let me know if you have any other questions, I know I get a lot of questions about apartments and moving out, and it's amazing, I love it. Please let me know what you want to watch, please like and subscribe. My Instagram is muhua.khan and Labyrinth Ave. I'm about to hit 2,000 sales on my freaking small business, which is crazy because I started in August of 2020 and it's wild how many things have changed since then. So if you want to support me, it's labyrinthave.com. And I also have a podcast with my partner. It's called Difficult Dish on Spotify and all streaming platforms. Um, and um, yeah, I think that's enough of my plugging in. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. I love you guys. I'll see ya.